Hi YouTube. In this video, I will be explaining how to install a single pole switch. I want to start by telling you a little bit about single pole switches. On the right hand side of the stream is a residential grade single pole switch. On the left hand side of the stream is a commercial grade single pole switch. I need to show you both switches because switches come in ratings, meaning that they're rated for a certain voltage and a certain amperage. So the residential grade switch on the right hand side of the stream is rated for 120 volts or less and 15 amps or less. Now the blue switch, the commercial grade switch on the left side of the stream is rated for 277 volts and 20 amps. So you cannot install this residential grade single pole switch on a 277 volt circuit because it's only good for 120 volts. However, you could install the 277 volt commercial grade switch on a 120 volt circuit. Okay, let me now tell you a little bit about the switch itself. So every single pole switch will have two copper screws on one side and will have a green ground screw somewhere on the switch itself. In this case, it's this screw right here. That's where your ground would land. Here on these copper screws is where the wires controlling your light would land. So let's look in the box and talk about what's in the box. In the box, you're going to have this grounding wire, this bare copper grounding wire. Sometimes this wire can be green. You may see a green wire. That would be your grounding wire. Then you have the two wires that will land on your switch. One of these wires comes directly from the light. It's called the switch leg. The other wire comes from the power source. Uh, it's called the hot feed. So you got switch leg and hot feed. And you have these neutrals that's tapped together that's passing through. So it comes from the hot, I mean it comes from the panel. It taps with the other white wire that's coming from the light. So you won't be doing anything with the white wires. Okay, so now we're ready to install our single pole switch. Now. First thing we want to do and the most important thing we want to do is turn off the circuit so that we don't get shocked or electrocuted. Then once we turn off the circuit, we're ready to install our switch. So first thing I want to do, I want to take my bare copper wire, which is my ground wire, and make a loop in it like so. I then take my single pole switch. I wrap that loop around my green screw. Once I do that, I tighten down that screw. Okay, so we got the ground. Now, let's look at our two copper screws here. Now, it doesn't matter which wire lands on which screw. One wire must land on one of the screws and the other wire on the other screw. So the switch leg on one screw and the hot feed on the other screw. Let's start with the hot feed. I'll take my wire strippers. I'll strip a part of the insulation off. I'll then make a loop like so. All right, and then I'll take that loop and I'll put it around the screw and I'll then tighten down the screw with a Phillips head screwdriver. You can also use a straight for most outlets also Phillips straight. Okay then I'll take my switch leg here, I'll strip off some of the insulation. I'll then 
Again, I'll make a loop like so. I'll take that loop. Take that loop and I'll put it around the other screw. I'll then tighten down the screws. Now we're ready to install the switch into the box. However, it's very important that we uh it's very, very important that this copper wire here does not come in contact with these two copper screws. If that happens, it will instantly trip the circuit breaker or blow the fuse. So to keep the copper wire from coming in contact with the copper screws, I like to use black tape. I'll take some black tape and cover the screws. Okay. I'll cover the screws with black tape. That helps keep the copper wire from coming in contact with the copper screws. Now we're ready to actually install the switch into the box. Okay. You like you wanna install the switch into the box with being able to see the word off when the switch is pushed down. However, if you put it in upside down, it will work just the same. So, and okay, now we'll put our cover on. And that is how you would install a single pole switch in a plastic box. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.